What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and today we're doing a pizza straight into it today. Carlos fully loaded Detroit style deep big cheese pizza. New from Aldi and it's like a, a rectangular shape so that is what we're going for today. Carlos. Fully loaded with mozzarella and cheddar cheese topped with red onions and a creme fraiche sauce. So Looks right up my street, to be honest. Look at that. So let's give this a go. 17 minutes in the oven, it says. Let's take a look at what's on this pizza. So there it is in all its glory. I've obviously read all this out to you. So we'll just have a look at this traffic light system here. So amount per half a pizza. So didn't actually say pizza there. Uh, 543 calories per half a pizza. You've got three lots of red. So this is going to be 20% over your daily recommended saturated fat if you eat this whole thing. And it's not a very big pizza, to be fair. How many grammage is it? So it says cooks unfrozen in 17 minutes. How much grams is it? Let me be on the back. 417 grams. That's not a lot for a pizza, is it? I apologise about the, uh, the light in the shadows because... Um, let's see if I can change this. Unfortunately, the sun is glaring through the window. There's nothing I can do, really. I apologise. A little bit of information there. A pincer base topped with garlic seasoned sauce and creme fraiche style sauce, mozzarella, coloured cheddar and hard cheeses, red onions and marinated semi-dried tomatoes. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't know what it is there. What's a pincer base? Is that what makes it a Detroit style? Who knows? Like I say, it cooks in the oven here, 15 to 17 minutes. Not suitable for microwave cooking, and that is the ingredients in more detail there. So it's got mozzarella cheese, 11%, creme fraiche. It's got coloured cheddar cheese, 6%. Marinated semi-dried tomatoes, 5%. Hard cheese, 3%. You've got milk, wheat and rye as the allergens. It's got paprika flakes on, dried herbs, onion powder, dried garlic, white pepper... Doesn't look too bad. Interesting to see what creme fraiche does on a pizza. Will that make it like a make it a little bit more like a cream? Creamy like cream cheese. So that is the nutritional information in more detail there. 20.8 grams of protein per half a pizza. So 42 grams of protein nearly in this pizza if you eat the whole thing. And but also 121 grams of saturated fat nearly. And nearly eleven hundred calories in this bad boy. It's calorific. Right, let's get it open and have a look at it. So it is very, very deep. It's a proper deep pan pizza, this. I don't know what a pincer base is, but this is what a pincer base is. Well, this is what we're looking at. Looks like a... Can we turn it over without all the toppings falling off? We can. So it's got like a already charred frozen base, so... It should cook well, this. Will it be too deep for me? I don't know. But there it is anyway, in all its glory. So I'm going to get that in the oven for 15 minutes. Actually, probably fit in the tower air fryer, but we're going to put it in the oven 15 to 17 minutes. It's not a problem. I've got something else going in the oven as well for Mrs. Dino. So this can cook alongside it. Right, I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, so let's talk about the price of this pizza. I've got the receipt here. So this 417 gram pizza cost £2.99. Is that a lot for a... It's a very small pizza. I feel like that's a lot compared to the other pizzas. It was frozen, so it's not a fresh pizza. And there is another style of it. You can also get American hot, which is like jalapenos on and things like that. But I thought I'd try the big cheese first because, you know, when it comes to a bit spicy food, I'm a bit of a wuss. So, yes, but I do like red onions, and I'm interested to see what, like I say, what creme fraiche is going to bring to the party when it comes to a pizza. So, I'll bring you back when it's ready. It's in the oven now. So there we go. I'm not going to lie, that looks really, really good. It looks clean, it looks fresh. 
I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So I'll get it off there. Get it onto my trusty pizza slab. We'll cut it up. I'll give you a closer look now and then we'll have a taste. Okay, so it is all important taste time. Take a look at that. Wow. So I'm really interested to see what it's like because it does, it looks like it's all a creamy, creme fraiche. Look at that. It's nice undercarriage there. Hopefully it's not it's not really hard because a really hard crust. Well, the crust to be crispy, but the inside to be like soft and doughy. I'm not doughy, but you know, like proper bread. Pincer base, I'm not sure what pincer base is. It smells nice, it smells really fresh. I know it's a frozen pizza, this, but you've got fresh tomatoes on there, you've got red onions, that creme fraiche. Let's give it a go. Mm. Wow. Not so different. Because there's no tomato sauce base, but so it's creme fresh is the base. Mm. So it's got a nice crispy base, but like bread, um, but it really, really complements it. Wow. This is really nice. Mm. Wow. That is sensational. That is something I've never tasted before a pizza. It's not sweet, it's proper, it tastes, it tastes like a restaurant pizza. It tastes like you're gonna get this into a, in a fancy restaurant. This is three quid. I don't know what a pizza base is, but I like it. It's got nice, the bottom of it is like really nice and crispy. That is really nice and crispy. But if you look inside it, it's like, it's got that, little like gaps in the bread where it's like aired and it's really nice it absolutely complements it brilliantly creme fresh you know if you just a change from your regular tomato sauce or your barbecue sauce if you if you if you like that but then the fresh ingredients now sometimes i know this might be controversial but sometimes when we order a pizza i like to get a vegetarian pizza because it tastes like fresh doesn't it um so you get all them all them veggies on there i like it but this, it does really taste fresh. You've got the red, nice red onions, you've got tomatoes, that creme fraiche. Oh, it really does. And whatever seasoning they've used, herbs. I think I listed a few, didn't I, before. Paprika flakes. It's not spicy though at all. Dried herbs, onion powder, garlic, white pepper. It's absolutely delicious, this. This is a 10 out of 10 pizza. I love this. And I will definitely, 100% be buying it again even at three quid. Initially I thought three quid, because it was, I thought it was gonna be small, 400 grams, but it's deep, isn't it? Love it. Definitely buy it again, highly recommend it. Probably try the American hot one in the future. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. It does say not, it says new, not limited edition, so hopefully we'll be able to buy this again in the future. See you tomorrow. Great job, just...
Special.